And so we've scissored this part in, laid back at a 45 degree angle. You don't want to cut off hair that's on the neck because it's going to become your, your show coat when there's a nice big continental. So from the pin bone, you want it to lean back because you want that to be the furthest point coming out. Next, instead of scissoring the front, I like to set the angle from the elbow up to the flank. And you want to treat the front portion of the flank here as if it's part of the front leg versus actually being the flank. You do not want to cut that out. Never cut out the flank hair. So instead, brush that all down, find the flank. You don't want to scissor beyond that. Set your scissors up here at the elbow. And you may have to get at an angle where you can see this, hon. And see the scissors are actually going at an angle pointed up towards that flank. Just clean all that out and you want it to be a fairly straight line. Thanks to my scissors being dull, I can't get it to cut at the tips. I have to come back with my curves and clean that up because I want to make sure that I'm being careful and not cutting her. You are blocking the light with your nose, darling. Good girl. For a puppy clip, you want everything to be much more square. You don't want big rounded sides. If you have big rounded sides, it runs the risk of losing, looking too much like a Scandinavian. You can get disqualified for that. No, ma'am. Good girl. So, so I've got my curves pointed the opposite direction. I'm just taking off excess hair. She's not going to be shown anytime soon. So there's not any point in worrying about this being a perfect trim. Just want to get rid of the hair that I don't want to have to wash and dry and keep tangle free while she's playing and having fun and growing up. Now, I like for it to come wider out here and taper in more in the flank area. So that they have some shape and don't just look like a Rubik's Cube. They're a little bit of a waste here. Now we will want to blend this line here going into the top coat and we'll want to round that chest. Let's work on the chest since we've got light on it. Because we want, know we want the pin bone to be the highest point. We've already scissored up to that point. We come back to where we set our elbow line. We we'll pretty much just clean out what's between the front legs. Now, on a continental, you want a nice big curve. On the puppy clip, you want a little bit more angle. Now oh, it's so hard to see. Now that's going to give you excess hair on the front of these legs. So you want to clean that up so that it blends in just a little better.
And you just want to clean up the hair that's sticking out. Actually, I like to just lift the hair, lift the leg, and trim any little sticky abbies. And that includes giving them a nice tight trim in their armpits so you're not just dematting that all the time. Follow it around to the side and clean up the wispies off the side. And your dog gates, so it's going to flip in and out. And it just looks bad. Now, the hair on the back of the leg, you barely want to tip. This is a square breed, but especially in puppy clip, we like for them to look short. So, we leave extra hair on the back of the leg here. An extra hair along the length of the leg here and that's why we want that flank blended in as part of the leg. If you trim all that out you make their outline look really long even when they're a nice square dog like this little girl, Abba. I did not shave Abba's belly so she got a little hair sticking out down there. I like them right here to the rear. Hey, hon. Need to be over here. Feel in the rear. Oh, chair. Bend the leg. Find where their natural bend is in their body. From that point up, you want it pretty much in line with their skin. I'm going to turn off this light because it's blinding me. Can you still see on there? Yep. Very careful since scissoring around their genitals. You don't want to accidentally cut them, obviously. Carol, stop pulling forward. Your rear wouldn't be awkward. There you go. Thank you. And you 
clean out the inner portions of their thighs. much see skin. I like to do that by actually holding the leg up and the tail out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. It makes me less likely to nick them. Gonna give a clean profile as she's going away. All this will want to blend. I don't want her to look bow legged. Anything bizarre. Good, good, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I know, but it is a lot cuter. And again, you're pretty much just tipping that hair to blend it in. Up here. Oh, good girl. Good girl, sweetheart. Good girl. Just want to blend this to match their angles. Don't want to do much to their hot hair. Now, this is the tricky part. I'm going to locate their hip bone. You want to scissor as flat as you can keep it to their hip bone. It would be a lot easier if my scissors wouldn't insist on being dull. This is a mistake I see many people make. Get over on that side. They make it this far and they stop. And they just leave the dog with all this lumpy hair here and then they get them in the show ring and the dog moves around and they look like a, they're a turtle. What you want to do is take the neck hair, brush it straight back, straight back. Okay. This is the longest length of her neck hair. We want it to swoop back down and blend in to match the rest of her. So, take the shears, and work towards that goal. And you want it to stay a nice swooping angle because there's a broken line in puppy clip, you can get disqualified. The only flat line you want is that one right there up to the hip bone. Then it needs to blend. Quit, babe. Quit. Quit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Keep brushing and working until so you've got that angle right. You need to come over and clean up all this.
want to follow that croup up and around. You don't want to scissor out a hole here. Then the puppy looks like they have a really low tail set, even when they have a nice tail set like this girl does. so that it blends. No, ma'am. Good girl. You want it to come in a little bit into the flank, into the region, so that it curves in and back out. But do not cut the flank hair down here. We want that to blend this leg hair. You can use your straights or your curves for that, whichever you're more comfortable with. Prefer to use the straights right here or you give the dog a bow leg look. Stop it. Good girl. I could just brush straight up and that shows me what's coming around that line so that I can come clean it up just a little. We just want it to blend in and not stick out. Let's see here, hard head. Stop it. Don't get good girl. Now, we don't need this huge chunk there in the flank. I just don't want you to completely cut it out. You won't be able to see what I'm doing. I'm rounding this. She'll stop trying to go on a walk. Prefer my shorts for this. It's just easier to get that angle. Kill myself on the floor. No, sir! Just want to barely trim that and blend up into this region. I just want to tip this long hair so it won't have that scraggly look. So this is not a completed groom, this is not a perfect groom, this is not a show ready groom. So this is the basics. No, that needs to trim some more.
Come up around this side so you can see what I'm doing right here. I realized when I moved to this side I had more to come off of the top coat. Should still need tidied up. You stand right here. But this is the basic outline that you want. Please put your nose down. Quit fighting me. You want it to slope up this way. You want to leave the flank hair to blend that way. You want the furthest out point of their chest to be their pin bone. And you want a sharp angle here. So that's pretty much the puppy show clip. You can end the video now.